here we are. In the middle of the night. On my new artillery Sidewinder 3D printer. This thing is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Look at the work it's doing. What it's making apart for Alrock. And what it is is a blast cone. But it's more than that. It's a launch lug. It's a thrust enhancer. And look at the beautiful configuration. I could sit and watch this all night long. In fact, I am. <laughs> This machine is so quiet and so, so smooth. Even though it's moving fast, there's no vibration. And I'll tell you what, the glass bed on this thing is absolutely incredible. Can't scratch it with steel. And the parts come off it, as soon as they cool off, they come off like a just, like, it's magic. This is an absolutely fantastic machine. You can see the screen here. It automatically levels the bed. It's one of the best buys I've ever made. It's a really beautiful machine. As you can hear, there's no sound at all, barely. Just the quiet sound of an intelligent machine doing a great job. at how accurate it works and, and how smart it is, really. Look at that part. To kind of explain it, this is part of a system of a rocket that does a several things. First of all, it has a tank. It's a, it's a tank filled with um, alcohol and as the motor as the motor burns it heats up and the alcohol is there as a coolant and as a thrust enhancer because as it gets hot it's going to vaporize and it goes down into the channels into this blast cone and enhances the thrust of the motor while cooling the, the, the body of the plastic, too. I'm absolutely amazed to be part of the generation being able to do this kind of stuff. It opens up creativity like you can't even imagine. You can do amazing things with these machines. They're absolutely amazing, as you can see. only have one machine running tonight. I've got a kitty kitty cat too. Akita. 
but that one's an enclosed printer for printing ASA or, or um, ABS. I've been printing ASA lately. I love the material. It's very strong. Of course, this is pretty cool though. This is running uh, PLA. Kind of a strange setup here. We've got a um, a Sunmo filament dryer because all filaments absorb moisture, so it's best if you if you uh, pre-dry it. This is a, this here is uh, an auto filament sensor. I don't know if you can see it. There's a light on that thing. And if that filament happens to run out, that light goes out and it tells the machine that it's out of filament. And then it stops and waits for you to load it. I'm, I'm not kidding, this is the most troublesome, trouble free machine I can even imagine. This is just an absolute joy to own this. And it's pretty inexpensive, really, for what it does. Let me take you around and show you some other stuff while this is working that I've already done. I can show you one of these parts as it's done. Hold on. This is my kitty cat machine. Show you what's in here. Here's the rocket body. Beautiful job. show you some other stuff here. This is just some of the designs I've been working on here. But here's the cool thing is this. Now what happens here is that rocket you were looking at has chambers in it that hold the alcohol, that cools it down as the engine burns, that helps the engine stay, the body stay cool, and then it vaporizes and comes out those little jets, and this is the, the exit place for, for the rocket right here. And so these little jets on the sides, there's four of them, add to the burn. So this is quite an intricate part. But this is just some of the stuff I'm making right now. Eating pie. <laughs> this was an experimental part. That started it all. Let's see. Here were some boosters. Same thing. These had to be drilled out. This didn't come out the best. They have to be machine, kind of like ground out with a Dremel tool. Here's some of my failures. This one started looking cool. It was sort of a prototype, but it ended up getting bad. And here are some. <laughs> Some of my failures. <laughs> you can see the, the 
<laughs> this is not what you want to see uh, from a printer. And this one was even worse. <laughs> like I was sleeping at the switch doing this. There's a piece of the of the filament AS, for the ASA. I mean, the, uh, the red filament here that this was made out of. And here's just some other pieces that were made. Same thing. Very beautiful pieces. This is a precursor to the to the red one there. It's a little wider. But these parts are extremely lightweight. I mean they they feel they're just light, they just feel like feathers. This is a nose cone end for a nose cone. And I like this booster, the booster parts too. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going back to bed for a while. Good night, Irene. <laughs> See, oh, I forgot this is the, this is one of the test cubes. You can see it's really a nice finish. Well, it's night night time. Four o'clock and all is well. So, <laughs> later folks. <laughs>